challenge. So it's why, the why the girls have to go and still use it? He's like, win this for me. Why don't you win it for yourself? The top. This is cup stacking. Jillian, ready, set, go. Oh! Suck, 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 suck! Go. 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 I know, it's like a... Survivor's ready? Yeah. Go! Go, Melanie. Go! Go, Melanie! Go, Melanie! Go, Melanie! And the spot in the final four. What? Oh my god. Guys, this is a bug. I'm about to eat this shit. Yeah. I don't trade a bug. So it's okay. soft and squishy, but a little bit of crunch. Mm. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just gonna pick one of us now. If we had one, then we could guarantee somebody a spot with us in the top three, maybe. or the top four, or what about your whatever, mom? and maybe try and like use it as leverage. But I think either way, Jamie is set. Yeah, either way, she's going to find something. It's easier for them to just pick us off, unless somebody just wants to do something That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Yep. I just don't understand Jamie's logic of why she would go into the game and for the longest time say so she doesn't care. I'm like, if you would have cared and said, hey, I want to actually be a player in this game, then, then we should have considered you. We would have considered you a player instead of you saying, hey, I want to leave. Because I like, did Michael do that? Michael said, I want to leave. And when he left, he did not yeah. bullshit okay, like this. Because yeah. he was like, hey, I actually want to leave. So if she wanted to play, we would have considered her a player. But she made us think that she didn't. And it wasn't even for like a malicious reason. It's just she no. changed her mind. So I'm like... So let's talk about the craziness of last time. Heather, how long have you had that idol? Um, for a long time. It took me a long time to decide who I was going to tell that I had the idol to. Who did you tell? I told, I didn't tell until the tribal council before Steven was voted off. I told Nora and Steven, this is how I'm going to prove my loyalty. If you guys need this idol, I'll share it with you. Jamie, hmm. there's a big discussion last tribal council about like, you know, you're going to decide. Are you regretting any of it at no. this point? No. No. Why? Why regret? I mean, I mean, that would just be that just waste that. so much time of my life. Just yeah. be like, oh but like, my what God. are you thinking about it now? Like, what's your next move? I thought it was think? super smart and such a twist to the game, and yeah. like we were all like, what? Yes! Like, <laughs> I mean, it was just like that's what's gonna make that's what's making this a fun game and good television. And I mean, <laughs> yeah. let's be real here. It was just. Meta. <laughs> I mean, just like she um, congratulated me on what I did, like, that, uh, honey, yes. Yeah. Okay, Jillian, where are yeah. you sitting? Because right now, it looks like tables have turned on you a little bit, too. Um, yeah, that was interesting, but I think we still have a strong, strong team going. Um, we're, we're all still committed and, and ready to kick some ass, so hopefully our plan doesn't <laughs> get backfired. Backfire again, backfire. but... Okay. Yeah. Heather, do you feel vulnerable this time around? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Do you think it's you? Yeah. yeah. Have you tried swaying any of them? No, I mean, I they couldn't even talk to them alone. I could have just sat here and been like, let's be honest, guys. It's me or Nora. Does somebody want to do some crazy shit with me? Um, and you but didn't? I, no, I mean, I could, I could right now. Like, you guys are going to vote for me or Nora. Nora and I. Do you want to, do you want to say? Do you think we should? I mean, we're going to vote for the same person. If somebody changes their vote, we'll go into a tie, and that could be interesting. Okay. So if one okay. of the three of you change your vote, there will be a tie between whoever Nora and I vote <laughs> and whoever the three of you vote. Right, but I don't know why that would benefit anyone. Anyway. I don't either. That's just that's I'm why I'm saying, yeah. like, if you want to do something crazy and stupid and go with me, Nora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She goes, options What's the logic options behind, What would be the logic behind that decision? <laughs> Keeping me in. Yeah? It would be to save my fucking ass. Okay, <laughs> why should they? Um, because... I think that, I think it, personally, I think it's really annoying that, annoying, I think it really sucks that, like, half the people that are essentially looking like the top three, more than two-thirds of the group, like, don't care about Survivor. Mm, that is that Like, your first, uh, your first episode was when you got here, and Jamie, for the whole time, was like, I can make a top five, and I'm so happy. So, I know you care about winning, but, like... 
I don't think that you cared about the show. I care about this group I'm with, and I care about having a good time and playing a good game. Yeah, I, I didn't even bring you fucking up. I said Jamie. I know, but I'm just sticking up for all of us. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I think that, like, that's just annoying to me. It seems um, like both of you have comment. something you want to say, I have yeah. Um. <laughs> In the, in the lead up to Survivor, uh, uh, A, I've talked to Chris about it because I have, I honestly don't have any idea about Survivor. My first episode was two nights ago when we were sitting around and we watched the finale of one. Yeah. So, like, I don't have any idea. However, a way to get people on Survivor, they go out and recruit random people. So on the real Survivor, people have no idea and no plan, and they show up, and it's still fine. So and if they win, that's awesome. But this isn't real. <laughs> but that's what you're this saying. This isn't real. What I'm saying is, like, I think, I just think, like, it sucks for me as somebody who, like, really yeah. cares. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Do you have anything you want to say about this oh, thing? Yeah. Um, I think it was a lot, you know, like, and, it, and I get really nervous about a lot of things, and it comes out, and I talk about it a lot. And so, you know, beforehand, you know, I was like, you know, if I make it to that five, that'd be great, and, like, I don't even want to play this, and I'm not good at it, and, like, but then I think people who start with me on beauty can attest to the fact that it wasn't like I didn't bring it when we had challenges. Yeah. I think it so. wasn't like I didn't give my shit because and my time and my work because I was like, I don't want to make it, I don't want to do it, and I suck at this. And I think no matter what, I gave 110% every single time, even if I didn't think I was the one who deserved to be here or or could win it. And I don't think I don't think what I said beforehand should be the reason that should like that should completely blank out all the hard work I put to get where I am right now. Before we vote, do you guys have any last plea that you want to say? No? No. Okay, then let's go vote. Let's do it. If no one has any media like the last time, hopefully have it go home. Good competition. No words. It's time to go. I don't care how much you love Survivor. Trying to win, and I know you're a little upset that I don't know Survivor, but still want to make top three. I ate a bug to prove it. I'm so happy with the game I played so far. Because you coasted. Uh, well, that just got intense. I will say, I'm like not taking this shit personally, but will I? But what I will take personally is when people come up to me and tell me that they don't think I deserve to be here because I don't know how to play the fucking game. So I'm like, listen, we're not going through this again. That's what happened last time. And look how far I made it then, and look how far I made it now. So everyone can shut their fucking mouth about it. So I know this, my vote doesn't mean shit, but it is what it is. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the public council and read the votes. <laughs> 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 okay. Jill. That's me. Jill. That's me. Heather. One vote Heather, one vote Jill. Heather. That's two votes Heather, one vote Jill. Jill. Two votes Heather, two votes Jill. Right Next Either. person voted off of Survivor. Heather, you're going to have to bring me up your torch. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I think we're both such power players. I would have loved for things to work out and Colin and I like had some secret alliance going where we could have been in the top, but I Steven like I Steven was such a blind side. I had no idea. Um, and that just changed everything with the numbers. So regardless, I like had so much fun. I'm so glad I got to come back. Um, and I'm really, really happy with the game I played. So. Heather got voted off, so I'm the only one left of my alliance and from the Brain tribe, which kind of sucks because I wanted to be here with Steven, at least, but it is what it is. I, and I, like, I don't, no one's taking anything to heart, but what I'm most livid at is people from the jury telling me that they don't think I should be where I am because I'm not a good player. And that just honestly hurts my feelings because that was a problem last game where people counted me as an underdog and kept me through because they knew I was the underdog and I was the goat and blah blah but this time I actually played and was a leader in some aspects and I'm still getting treated the same way and that really sucks so I'm kind of going into this last game thinking that I'm I'm not gonna win I'm not good at competitions and that's just proving everyone right which sucks but 
It is what it is. No, you're not, you're not, you're not. Nope. Okay. They're done, they all fell off. Welcome to the Final Four Tribal Council. Okay, Jamie, you won today's challenge. You want to talk about the emotions that went through you know, uh -huh. that challenge? I don't think any of us were feeling emotions, just no. pain. Just okay. just a lot of pain. Yeah. A lot of pain. Yeah, okay. Yes. Nora, you were the first one out. Were you, like, disappointed? What happened exactly? What? No, I felt a little burned and then I stepped forward. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, there was no way I was going to be all three of them, so I was like, yeah. And this is knowing that they have a pact to the final three? Yeah. Do you think that you're going home? I don't know. I know for sure. You know for sure it's, you're it's, going a, home. it's a fact. Have you like accepted for trees, it? I am going home. <laughs> fast. <laughs> okay, then if it's no suspense, we'll just get to the vote. Okay. That's so fun. Hi. Final three, here we come. Here's to hoping for final three. I'm waiting for Mora. Here's hoping a uh, final three. It's been fun, guys. See you later. Okay, bye. Well, at the end of the day, I knew this was going to happen, but I'm going for these nuts. Because it's the only valid winner I see. So, are they all suspicious? <laughs> I'll read the votes. First vote. Nora. I'll put Nora. Nora. That's two votes, Nora. Nora. That's three votes, Nora. He's nuts! <laughs> Wow, so what a what a journey, y'all. That was insane. Making it to the final four again. Losing again. It's insane. Oh my god, it's so crazy. Um, I will say this. I think that the final three are coasters, but that's my honest god opinion. In my opinion, don't mean shit because they're the final three. They won challenges. They were really good. They made it on through. They picked the right people to align with. And here I stand, poor Sid in this case. Yeah, but I just want to say just briefly that um, I think that the fakest bitch of them all was Cullen. At first I was going to say Jamie, but I then realized that Cullen is still playing them. He's looking at them during that like tribal council like he was a pageant dad and there were his three little beautiful girls he got them all dressed up and ready to go and sent them to the pageant getting ready to win miss grand supreme like he's over there applauding like yes babes like they're still being played they're not even winning this for themselves they're winning for cullen so at the end of the day if you're happy with winning for someone else then that's good that's i'm proud for you yes go you slay mama but i think i played a good game on my own and yeah.